What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Republic of Venice. I got it right this time. I accidentally considered them a uh, kingdom before. And to pick up where we left off, our army in Istanbul is slowly just rebuilding. Um, it's slowly getting hold of some artillery from Istanbul. And we've got this force over here ready to attack the Poles here at Zagreb. And the intention is for this army to attack the Poles and then move up towards Austria to provide a bit of a helping hand. Because we haven't got much visibility on what's going on. They seem okay. But if we can take Hungary, then we can always help them out and vice versa. And potentially expand out against the Prussians. Um, because right now, they're... Well, yeah. Right now, that's this is our kind of our da most dangerous point. So I'll take this army, get them rebuilt. And then um, push them north. Now, our research plan... Okay, don't go for Wedge. Go for something economic. Let's go for Coke Blast Furnace, because you've got more metalworking buildings, I believe. Although, Weaver's Cottage, Weaver's Cottage. Iron Workshop, Iron Workshop. Weaver's, oh, Weaver's outnumber. Let's get the spinning mule. Because once you get spinning mule, oh, although we are starting to get more Getting into more combat. Although I need to wait until the Great Arsenal is done, then I can research Carcass Shot. Um, and buy some howitzers, because then that'll get us some amount of... Uh, that'll get, get us some serious killing abilities. Also, like Prussia might actually be on the offensive. Uh, which, if they are, bully for them. If we can take Zagreb, then we can hold the city. Then we can push up and attack Hungary. And then our northern flank will be reasonably secure. Hello. Yes, please. Come at me, bro. Three Pandar, two Militia, one General. Cool. But yeah, if we can take the city, then advance north, north, we can help secure the Austrians' flank, and then we can spend a few turns just building up our defences. That would be my preferred uh, way of doing things. But let's see. Cool. Let's set my artillery up on the back of the hill. They're going to, on, the, on the top of the hill, rather. I may deploy my conscript and militia wing up front to try and take the damage in this one and keep my line infantry uh, my, the core of my line infantry in good condition that would be my that would be my preference Get my artillery to bomb the militia units. There's unit of, of uh, irregulars coming in from the town. I send my pikemen towards those. I send one unit, my weak unit of pikemen towards them. If they want my infantry to storm around the flanks and cause great upset. First volley from the militia. Artillery is landing in amongst the troops. Good, the 6th Regiment of Militia is going to do some good work. Excellent. Yep, yeah, the uh, morale of the militia is not particularly good. Artillery slamming into the ground. Targets might actually be a bit aggressive. Let's try go for the general's bodyguard. Oh, 
wavering. Playing it charge these are regulars. Let's redeploy you guys to make sure you don't shoot into combat. These are regulars are going to collapse in no time at all. Because these are, even though these might be not completely junior regulars, they are still skirmishers. And skirmishers still suffer. Let's send some conscripts up there as well, just to make sure. So there goes the enemy general. There goes the enemy force. So let's just advance, push the line. Here comes the enemy irregulars. Let's just speed up time. So they're going to stop and shoot. They're going to get a volley off against my pikemen. That is their prerogative. Although they may actually... They've been decisively beaten there. Here comes the pike charge. Irregulars who can't stand melee combat end up being in melee combat with a pike unit. Excellent. Exactly what the law is on to. Ah, one of their units has returned. Yeah, let's just end it. Nice. Good victory. Defeated that small force. They've been pushed back. But the hope is if we can take the city fairly unbloody, we can advance quite rapidly up towards Hungary and take it. We can take it and then that will be, well yeah, our northern flank secure. I do want to keep my uh, economic investment going constantly because we are, we are quite heavily reliant on trade and that in of itself is okay. But taxes are better. Hungary has lots of towns. So developing Hungary would be quite worthwhile. And they've got a military barracks there, which I probably wouldn't change for the time being. Because the military production would be quite useful. Right now, we've not got a lot of... Uh, we've, not got, we've not got a lot of military production in the north like that. Venice is the closest thing, but even then, there's still a lot of... Austrian territory on dirt roads we have to traverse, so it's not quite so easy. So, let's watch how the enemy responds. Barbary State's probably going to do some raiding and some pirating. Doing a bit of pirating there. But what are we up to? 3,600. So they're doing a bit of raiding. New university. Well, upgrade our university. And we put an iron workshop in Naples. Let's... All right. Okay. So we've taken... We've destroyed the garrisons. We're going to demand the surrender of the city. And they're going to accept it. We're going to repair the governor's palace. We're going to immediately push up to this blank area. Here comes our cavalry support, and we've also recruited, I'm sure, yeah, down here. Spend as much as we can on, have to, as much as we have to on replenishing. Let's try and see where we can... Heracleon, let's put a trade port on Heracleon. Can't build any garrison, garrison units yet, but that's okay. I think that's a good get. Works on strike in Romelia. Yeah, but now they're okay. So we want to slowly build up our garrison here. Servo vostro, signore. We need to slowly build up our garrison so that we can actually use this army elsewhere. But yes, Croatia's been secured and that's going to add an extra 417 onto our uh, treasury budget. 3,800. Uh, 13 colonies transport. Uh, trade is being blockaded. Savannah, Charleston. Yeah, we'd, I'd love to do some expansion, but right now we just can't. We are boxed in, and we need to start 
I mean, all they want to do is siege Hungary. I don't want to take it. I just want to lay siege to it. We get their attrition ticking on. And provide some help to the Austrians. Because, I mean, keeping Austria alive is so important. This campaign. They're a significant trade uh, partner for us. They're about to get walloped by... Oh, no. There's some... Prussian armies in the mix. Oh, there's another full Polish army up there already. I need more artillery. I need more artillery, better infantry. I need a lot of stuff, really. I need to upskill this uh, this northern army and remove my reliance on militia. I think. Yeah, I can't have so many conscripts. Or at least not as many. It's not ideal at all um, to have so many irregular infantry. At least we're bringing up some cavalry. That will definitely help. Can we start researching carcass shots soon? But I'm not going to do it yet. Signore, i vostri ordini. I mean, that's not a great army. That's not a terrible army, but it's probably not great either. Let's just put them under siege to start causing them problems. Yeah, lots of lots of cheap infantry. We're not going to siege it, like I say. I'm going to just. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm not going to assault it. Rather, I'm just going to siege it. Who's around here? Gentleman Burmeister Habersack. Okay, let's build a garrison port unit to occupy Heracleon when it's built. You're going to get one more artillery piece. 1400 to spend. Spend it on upgrading the opera house to a grand opera house. More happiness, slightly more per turn. Why should I just keep hold of it? Actually, we need, to, we need to upgrade some of these government buildings to the max level to maximize their tax bands. I think that makes sense. So, one more turn, we're getting the next Weaver's Tech up to 3200. Two of our friends are being. Uh, blockaded, but there's not a lot we can do about that. But at least we're starting to put you under pressure. I might actually recruit. A unit of... The Marines would be the best, but they'll, they'll, they'll be recruited down here and take a long time to get up here. So I might have to go for Grenadiers. Because they'll be recruited in Venice, and then they'll move up. Cool, let's hit enter. If we can break Polish power, that would be superb. They think they're at war with Russia, I believe. Yeah, if I can take Hungary, that means at least the Austrians gain a strong ally. Yeah. Uh, no, you men. Withdraw. Opportunity to intercept. Fighting on two fronts, but with the Austrians in support. I think I want to do that. I mean, I don't want to weaken the Austrian garrison, but I think in order... To defeat both of these armies, I might, and I may have to bring my army from Istanbul northwest because this this Polish force is likely going to then scatter into the countryside. But at least you've got a lot, a strong Austrian force of Marines to help. So. 
like before, we're going to deploy a militia line against one threat with a gun facing forward. Our line infantry is going to hold with the other gun and see what happens. Okay, they aren't going to come in exactly opposite me, but... They are going to come in on the flank to such a degree. Pull my militia line back into cover. They're going to potentially be. Oh no, those are my. Oh no, those are my allies. Either way, I must advance to support my allies. advance these men I'm not I'm not used to having allies drop into squares go for the provincial curve Then our artillery is doing well against their infantry. My pikemen are going to clear out these enemy cav units pretty ricky tick. My militia is doing good work. Okay, all right, cav, cav, cav. Pikes, 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 push on. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Push up and format. Get my infantry pushed up to help save it, help protect the Austrians, because I don't think they really need saving. Get into line. One gun engage here, the other gun get here to engage as well, I suppose. Let's help secure the Austrian reinforcements flank. overwhelming musketry is going to start to cause problems for the enemy. Gunners engage the Dragoons. Firing into the combat because the Austrians are actually not as many. Excellent. Okay, so my militia are just going to surround the Polish force, try to cut off their retreat. Although my main force can unlimber infantry. Other infantry force push up to here. This is where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from, so they're going to take a long time to actually form. Artillery. Boy, 
here. Or this other gubbins that hasn't really had an impact go over here as well. Okay, here comes. There is a Polish no, Polish unit that's reformed. Maintain the pursuit with a handful. These units can all start to head over towards this side. So it's now we're engaging the toe to turn. First regiment of foot. Infantry. See, here comes them. Here comes their infantry in piecemeal. Once the ninth regiment open up, these guys are doomed. they're going to chase them off. Let's begin ceasefire because the infantry, the, enemy, the Austrians have decided they want to deploy in front of us. Well, the first regiment of foot came back. That's right, deploy square. Goes the unit of militia. Pull my unit back. They're just getting shot in the back. Excellent. Well, it appears the Austrians want to uh, just cause problems because now they are completely in the way. It makes the deployment of all of my guys that much more problematic. Except, of course, for the pikemen. You guys just advance up to the combat area. It looks like that is it. Deploy the actual troops who can fight in melee. Hordes of them. Excellent. Now they're falling thick and fast. Except for that guy, he's the one that's doing the falling. Oh. Yeah, the mercenaries have taken the hit and they've also taken the volley from the troops in behind them. Maintain the charge, don't let them get away. I could bring my hussars over here because they've done nothing at all. Come some skirmishes. The regiment of foot's going down fast, as are the militia. Yeah, we effectively had to throw ourselves into the melee because we don't want our allies to be too badly depleted. So we share the burden between us. 
bring my general up as well. He can show them that we support his valiant efforts. Provincial militia. Shot in the back. Shot them in the back. So now they both these units are and the militia broke. Mercenaries are still fighting. They're holding the line. But they're starting to get outflanked. Lots of my fellows are starting to get into position to stab them in the back. But they're steady, it's interesting. They've gone for wavering and they've managed to recover quite well. Yeah, my pikemen are starting to fall thick and fast. Charge my cavalry into the warband. Just to probably knock them out. These are the first unit of the Venetian Hussars. First light horse. Long pipe just went absolutely flying. Chopped into pieces. Charge the pikemen on. Oh no, keep attacking them because they are going to rail route in the good direction. My cavalry out of the way. But yeah, right now we've lost our pikemen. Uh, although, what he can do is can you get into position and deploy pike wall? Because they're coming right for us. No, I don't think so. They just kind of bump into each other, and now the battle is joined. Deploy my light cavalry up here. Although... See, now we're here. They've decided, actually, we want to pull our line back. And you go, yeah, you know what, we'll do it then as well. Although it does look like we are committed. Yeah, we were committed. I think the Austrians... The Austrians have, uh, some degree, bottled it. And they've decided that, actually, we're quite badly depleted now. We don't want to lose our troops. Let's speed up time to the wait until the militia actually get onto the battlefield. Oh, no, don't worry. Call off the charge. More of them. And my pikemen against the cavalry, they'll have a grand time. God, it comes more. Okay, right, and after this, we are going to um, withdraw and let the Austrians deal with this. If I had my way. But my way, we'll ball them up, surround the hill, and gun them down. Whereas they seem intent on maintaining a presence on this corner of the battlefield. I don't think I can order them around like I can in um, Company of Heroes. Right, let's everybody get out of here. They want to fight the... Uh, Marines, they can, because my pikemen, my pike forces have taken a lot of damage here. And you know what? We think it's a bad idea. Artillery is going to unlimber and engage the Marines. Although they are being charged by skirmishes. We're still going to shoot because those skirmishes are 100% going to die. But it looks like they are lining up to do a bit of a bit of actual shooting. So my guns can help there. Reload. Oh. Charging in some more irregulars into the Marines. Classic AI. Their own marines in very well, and we will have to teach fire. Let's just 
I'll just watch this happen. You're just throwing men into the marine fight. Why? Why are you doing that? That's just... That's just bad. The amount of damage you're going to take. Yeah, your eggers are gone. Their marines are doing, some, doing quite well. Their militia's doing... I mean, think how many kills they're getting. The Poles are getting from the Austrians here. I mean, yeah, I do not want to help them in this chaotic endeavour. This, this is bad generalship. And it's not a terrible idea if you've got huge amounts of men at your disposal. But you don't, Austria. Dear, dear. You could just set up a nice little firing position, like what I've done, and just annihilate them. And no, you're going to make heroes of the Poles. Kind of. Eh, it wasn't close for me. Close for Austria. Austria has taken a right pound in. Yeah, they... I mean, my pike still got the most kills. I oh, know, I think I might just show mine anyway. Um, yeah, so they retreated to the, uh, to the, um, the farmland. So I think we need to start bringing up our army near, um, Istanbul. Otherwise, we risk that force running around, potentially capturing cities as well. But nevertheless, at least we do have... I mean, we are maintaining the pressure um, on, the, on the Polish. So that's something, at least. Okay, let's okay. so there's some grenadiers you're getting your artillery and we are going to go by ship I'm going to move them over to Sarajevo Well, the army will disembark. As a result, I am going to want to make sure I spend some cash on building up the Istanbul garrison because they are now very vulnerable. Uh, I can't quite do what I wanted to do. Let's move a light galley over to Heracleon. But I can upgrade an iron mine. So let's do that. Or do I want to do that? Or do I want to... Insediamento sotto assedio. Effectively... I can fully replenish this entire army. I think I have to do that. Yes, you're going to go try to get to them. This cavalry unit is going to run around and occupy the star fort. Signor. Oh, right, 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 right. Research carcass shop. Please. Oh, that was just now we got some of that. Good, good, good. This general got some very good bonuses. Quartermaster, steady under fire. Drill master. Yep, yeah, so if we constructed that port. Yeah, this general's... He's, he's also pretty good. I mean, is he still subordinate to... I know, these generals are both... Three stars up the sides. Ooh. I vostri ordini... Yeah, this is now my most experienced general. Not this fellow. Giuseppe Asamani has been usurped. Okay, right. That's 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 okay. There's nothing much else we can do. This is frustrating because that religious unrest is just going to get worse and worse. Here's getting better. But it's that resistance to foreign occupation creeping down. That's what we really want to see. But let's hit in turn. Good. That Austrian force that retreated back across into northern Italy is now moving back to where it should be. And actually getting involved in the fight. Well, potentially getting involved in the fight. 
Looks like the Dutch are going to land on Cuba against the Spanish. Good. Keep the Spanish tangled up so they don't look at me. Oof. Uh, do you want to help defend Austria? Absolutely we do. Although I've only got a union of grenadiers. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, my grenadier is just going to run into the town. At least you've got someone here that can help. I, th I, I, I suppose my army is laying siege to uh, Hungary, so they couldn't actually help. Good job I brought that other army up then. Holy moly, we might be about to lose Austria, everyone. I mean, we might be able to take it for ourselves. That will be quite good. Oh, nuts. Look where I am. Hey, Grenadiers. Go get that 12 pounder. Get their only artillery, and then they have to seize the wall. If they can't, we knock out their artillery. They don't get to attack. Well, they don't get to sw to swarm any breaches, and they might actually defend it. Oh yes, the pikemen, they are, they are aware of the risk. We're not going to let them scare us off, though. It probably means the end of our grenadier unit, but if we can... I mean, look, they're going to engage us. We are going to just run. Run straight through. Ignore everything. These are your targets. If you can knock out that artillery unit, we're on to a winner. You can kill their gun crews. The Grand the Regiment oh, the Regiment of Force is not attacking yet. Let's also run our grenadiers away from this engagement. Let's just run towards the fort. Because the pikemen don't want to attack. The regiment of horse don't want to attack. Get up to the wall. Why the oh, I was gonna say, why are the gates open? Holy moly. Excellent. The grenadiers are retreating. That's exactly what I was thinking of doing, trying to defend the walls. Although it looks like they might actually get in, because they're not defending the walls intelligently. I'd like to try and run a run in and be able to help defend from the inside. getting picked off but we can handle that oh that's it then I guess the Y guys just wanted to get bogged down engage this one new of line infantry see what we can do uh, in theory the AI could do a huge amount of here, here in terms of defending 
if they do it properly, but I don't know if they will. Oh no, chunky. They're like also really indecisive. Yeah, because they've got no way in, they've suddenly got a hat. Okay, right, yeah. Alright, oh, there goes our grand ears. But the AI, this is like really terrible AI attacking. Because it's a lot easier for Austria to defend that gap than it is for Russia to break through. Like, that's incredibly wasteful attack. And ultimately, it does mean that whatever they generate is going to be that much weaker. But well, they're going to be quite badly depleted if they do take it. The main thing is can Austria hold? I think they can. There are lots of infantry. They're generally the mortar unit, it looks like, so... They will be able to... Their morale won't break for an awful long time. General here... Oh, that's the reason why... They weren't attacking me. Yeah, in theory, the Austrians can win this. Because it's a lot harder. Well, the Austrians' morale is better than the than the uh, Prussians' morale. And then with that occasional mortar round landing in behind them, depending on how that's done, if you guys would shoot from the top, that would be very spiffy. And oh yeah, Austria's not flank. Uh, Prussia isn't flanking to try and capture any other ways in. They've gone all in on storming the gate, and that's generally really bad. Yeah, if the yeah, <laughs> it's a lot easier for us for um, to make Pr Russia Prussia break in this engagement than. Austria. And this is... This is a bit lame, but I don't know what to do. I don't want to hit end turn, because I don't know if that makes... I don't know if I can exit their battle. And if that would make Austria lose. I mean, hopefully Austria win. Then that will give my army time to defeat that small Prussian force. The small uh, Polish force, sorry, to the south. And then begin advancing and maybe move on to the city of Prague and take that. Yeah, the, see, this kind of thing is really quite valuable. Having a unit up here engaging in artillery fire just causes a little bit of extra damage and a little bit of extra upset. Half strength. Half strength. Engineers. I mean, one challenge, these are, these are actually, they've, they've actually got quite a lot of elite infantry. Marines in here though. Shaken, that's what you want to see. The fusiliers, when they go in, they should go down quite relatively quickly. The Bundabar shotgunners should go down relatively quickly. Horse grenadier guards are vulnerable. Swiss pikes, they'd be very dangerous in the breach, but they're not A, they're not, they're not up front and they can't attack the walls either, so they're a bit. They're a bit uh, doing nothing. Okay. Yeah, might just have to speed up time, because ultimately. <laughs> Although this is quite ugly as well. Staggering. Oh, I haven't had this happen before. In a what? Well, not in a very long time, where I've not been available, not been involved in a in a fight at all. And I don't know if I lose. Does that count as our? If I say quit, does that count as us all surrender? You know, I'm surrendering on the behalf of the Austrians. And I don't want to find out. Militia, engineers. 
Uh, there we go. Starting to see some some wavering morale there. At least for a second, but it's good that it's starting to sh it's starting to happen. Yeah, if Austria can survive, we're in we're, we're we're in a good place. If Austria loses, seven sixty. You see, well, the artillery shells have actually done some good damage. Yeah, now the pike's getting stuck in. If they had one unit on top of the gate, just firing down into it constantly, that would just... That would be game over. Oh, unit wait, oh, they were wavering. Austria's got a lot, I think, yeah. Austria are actually getting to the point where they are pushing out of the gate now. Engineers are low on numbers. Confident, 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 eager, eager, eager. Steady, steady, confident, steady. <laughs> With chunk, it's time to calculate all this stuff. <laughs> See, if we came in from the other direction, I'd have my grenadiers. Like, if, we, if it was in this situation now, I'd pull my grenadiers out and put them up here. And just have them pour musketry down onto that block. Fusiliers are losing... Everyone's losing... See, they're all losing infantry kind of broadly at the same time. So we're not able... You know, when, when this goes, it will go... Bang! And the entire army will break because they're you know, they're all losing units. They're all involved. They're all up there up front fighting. It's not like you've got a, a first unit that breaks and the second unit and their third. You know they're all losing men. Fusiliers, experts. If they could land some good mortar strikes on them, that would be superb. See, all the Prussians consider themselves losing. We could do with a few units breaking and running. Combat's even, that's not good. Oh no, winning. Losing. Losing, winning. Now that it looks like the the um, the Prussians may actually grind forward in this one, I can't even fast forward the battle anymore. I just have to watch. No, it looks like the Prussians are starting to grind through. Although the, U the Austrians still think they're winning. Come on, a couple of key units just breaking and running. Exhausted, concerned exhaustion, shaking, steady, confident. I suppose the Austrians might, the Prussians might think they're winning because they are, because they're engaging firelock armed citizenry at the front. So they might be getting, getting a lot of kills and going, oh, that's pretty good. Militia, oh, it was wavering for a second. I think the artillery's. Yeah, they need to get some good artillery hits. They've got cavalry, but this is. I don't, no, that's not their general. But if they can get. If they got that. Ooh, gates are open. If they got their cavalry in the mix. That would. I mean, cavalry's great for bogging down people on the gate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bring those back when. 
this is ended because right now I don't think it's the best content for you guys. So I'll see you guys when this is resolved. The cracks are starting to show. As we expected, eventually, even though Prussia is, was doing reasonable work, they still, they, you still just need so many more troops to push through the gate. Because these guys have the morale of the, the city, keeping them in their position, whereas the Prussians just run out. You think, compared to... You know, imagine if they had their 12-pounders constantly battering holes in walls and so on. Think how much more damage they could cause. Um, if they have that artillery system in place. So even though our grenadiers may have routed uh, fairly early on in the battle, uh, I do believe they achieved quite a disproportionately significant effect. So right now it's down to 39 fusiliers, 83 expats, 60 line infantry, 46 engineers, and 77 uh, line infantry to try and break through. Do it. There's an awful lot of Austrians in here. There's some back here that haven't even got into the fight yet. Yeah, there we go. The engineers are broken. The expats. As soon as more of the pressure, you know, one unit routes, each individual unit takes on more pressure and it starts to cascade. Shaken. Soon they will break. There's 73 expats. One of the more one of the more numerous units. Once they break, there we go. Run. Where are the Swiss pikes? Actually, they're still here somewhere. 168. Okay, so there's still plenty of them around. Fusiliers are in trouble. But yeah, the Austrians are now getting their break out, and they can bring more uh, more infantry to bear in, in the combat. The fusiliers are slowly shuffling back in, going, we're not dead yet. Uh, however, they soon will be. That's why it's shaken. Shaken. Steady. Confident. Yeah, these units are just starting to... Starting to break down. Good, the gate isn't open. I can say they're not going to be able to run, just run in. Fusiliers are taking a bunch of casualties in short order, from 27 to 21. They're broken. Yeah, the militia coming back around. And Austria is aware of the fact that they could be trying something. Because that line infantry is wavering now. Engineers are still steady. Let's see, Swiss plates are doing some good damage now. Just have they got enough? Engineers, they're still around. Go on, 26th Regiment, breaking around. And the Swiss players are good. They can't hold the attack by themselves. Especially when all when their comrades start collapsing around them and running. Here's the 26th Regiment. They're trying to route into the fort, interestingly. Oh, strategy indeed. And the ninth are upset. The ninth are broke, are broken as well. Spencer don't like the look of that. Neither do the sixth. The pikemen, everybody. The entire apparatus is trying to defend. Oh, there go the Swiss pikes. Excellent. The militia charging in, but I don't think it's going to save them. Encouraged because they're charging. These other two units 
so many casualties, don't they? There we go, we've got a couple of Austrian Marines sort of that have broken out. Attempt to try charge again. The general will is still does still exist as a regiment of horse. Wavering. Daddy. So many casualties in this action. So on both sides, you know, this isn't. There's no, neither side comes off particularly good in this engagement. I wish I could fast forward, but I can't. Well, now you're wavering. Marine just killed the guy in the back, towards the back, and he's going to find another another target. Ah, oh, he got a gun. There go. Broken. Broken. They've tried running, routing into the city. Oh, no, they haven't. They're running away. Now it's just the... Oh no, they did! Oh, that, their, their own mortars created a hole in the wall. And then the only tool they've got to bring to bear are the 4th Regiment, of course. So you men withdraw into the city. What you should be doing is the Regiment of Horse can still do good work. Now you're going to pursue the enemy. It's full strength regiment, of course. It's very tired. Unless they, unless they might just try and run straight in. Look at that dead. Part. Yeah, I think they're going to run straight in. Oh, good hit! Killed six cavalrymen, ten cavalrymen with the mortars. They can charge straight into the gate. Everybody's recommitting to the same engagement. Yeah, cavalry. Oh, I got killed by the general. Although it is um, the captain. Let's see if they can kill enough. Let's see if they can kill the cavalrymen in fairly short order. But yeah, this is. This has been quite a bad battle, really. This, this is just bad. This is the Trumpeter. Oh, the Trumpeter doesn't do well. Follow this guy. He's about surrounded. Marine don't wait for him. Follow this guy. See the man in really good colours. Now he's alive! He's alright, folks! Who's gonna take this guy out? Is he gonna get a Marine or is a Marine gonna get him? That's another go. These people, they're just standing around watching him. Get a Marine got out. They've doubled it. They've, they've charged him again. Right. What does this marine do? He's surrounded by lots of cavalry. Does he survive? Or is he killed? Oh no, he's gone! Oh, they got him. But they are now wavering. As is expected. Yeah. Hurrah! Hooray! We were so pivotal. Yeah, <laughs> kind of pivotal. I think the artillery did matter. Our grenadier unit still exists. The Austrian army scuttles back to Prague. Huzzah! Huzzah! So that Polish army to the south should... Uh, opportunity to intercept. Uh, yes, I am going to want to intercept that. But looking at the time, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time where we hopefully can destroy both of these um, Polish armies. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>